alone, regardless of the level of your English skills, to get PD scores that truly reflect your English potential, you must understand the game called Pearson Test of English Academic, both at a macro and micro level. When you understand the game, the skills PD intends to test with each question type, the layout and time frames for each question type, and how the machine scoring system marks responses for each PD item type, you will be able to come up with a strategy to display those skills and make the most out of constraining factors like time and get the scores that truly reflect your English potential for one attempt PD success. In this video, I will present such information relating to PT read aloud item type, the time layout, what skills are tested and how they are scored. By, by the end of this video, you will have all information required to form a winning strategy suited to your English skills that will help you get the perfect score for this item type. Read aloud is a speaking section item type which assesses both speaking and reading skills. There are generally six to seven questions in this item type. Since PTE Academic is a test of academic English, expect academic texts with academic English syntax and vocabulary. Like its name suggests, all you need to do to get perfect score for this item type is read aloud a text of generally between 50 and 70 words in the manner expected by the machine scoring system. If your English speaking and pronunciation skills are not up to mark, rest assured you will score something just for attempting. Here is a screenshot of the PT read aloud item type. Please pardon the poor image quality. This is the best we could get from the Pearson's website. On the top left side, you will, find, you will see the test that is being attempted and the test taker's name. On the top right side, you will find the time remaining for the section. Just beneath, you will find the number of questions in the section and what question you are on. Beneath this information, you will find instructions for the read aloud item type. It will tell you the time that you have to prepare and the time within which you must read the text aloud. The time that you have to read the text aloud is a constant and will always be 40 seconds. The only piece of information that varies and you must take note of is the time to prepare. However, you don't have to read the instructions for that as the timer on the recorder which is beneath the instructions will give you that information. The, re the recorder is followed by the text that you have to read aloud. Now, depending on the length of the text, your preparation time will be between 30 and 40 seconds, after which you will hear a beep and the microphone will open to record your response. You will have 40 seconds to read the text aloud. This information should be on your fingertips as you must not waste time going through the instructions during the test. You want to use this time productively by going through the text and preparing to read it aloud. Be advised, the PT recorder automatically stops recording after a three second silence. Some students think that they can beat the machine by making a humming noise. Although the humming sound does stop the microphone from closing, however, the machine scoring system will identify this noise and your score will be affected. So avoid the humming strategy as much as you can. Students who understand the PT scoring pattern do far better than students who do not. Knowledge of PT's machine scoring system is absolutely essential for those aiming for high scores in the PT test. Knowledge of machine scoring system will tell you what communicative, enabling and sub-skills the machine scoring system will be looking at 
and you need to display in your responses. The sub skills tested in this item type are speaking with a purpose, reading a text aloud, speaking at a natural rate, producing fluent speech, using correct intonation, using correct pronunciation, using correct stress, and speaking under timed conditions. Now, many PD blogs portray the above skills as tips. This leaves, this leaves PT test takers confused about questions like how does one speak for a purpose? What is natural rate of speech? How does one use correct intonation, pronunciation and stress? Well, don't despair anymore. In our next video, the link to which is provided in the description of this video, your curiosity will be quenched. The machine scoring system Test the above skills in the following three enabling skills content, pronunciation, and oral fluency. The PD machine scoring system will first mark you on content. Nobody knows how much score is allocated for content. According to the PD scoring guide, the score for content is dependent on the length of the text. However, it is largely believed that the score for read aloud content is between 3 and 5 points. Regardless of what the actual score is, what you must understand is, you get maximum score if you say all the words in the text in the order that they are in without excluding or including new words. You get zero only if you do not attempt or nothing of what you speak is in the text. Please be advised. If you score zero for content, you will not be marked for other enabling skills and your score for that particular question will be zero. So all you need to do to score full points is say all the words in the order that they are in without excluding or including new words. Not hard, is it? After content, the PT machine scoring system will mark your answer on pronunciation. You can score a maximum 5 and lowest 0 for pronunciation. According to the PD scoring guide, to get maximum score, you must pronounce all vowels and consonants in a manner that is easily understood by regular speakers of English. You combine sounds or delete sounds in words in a manner that is appropriate to continuous speech. You stress correctly on individual words and words in context of a sentence. You score zero only if more than half of what you speak is not understandable and your speech sounds like another language. So remember, the key to scoring well for pronunciation is to pronounce each word clearly so that it is understandable by regular users of English. The scoring for oral fluency is quite simple. All the machine scoring system wants to know is if you can read in a constant smooth rhythm without hesitations, repetitions, unwanted pauses and false starts. You get maximum score of 5 if you display the skills in your speech without any errors and minimum score 0 only if you speak too slowly and display characteristics of a person who has problem reading and comprehending English. That is all for this video. If you need more information, do read our related blogs and PD scoring guide. The links to which are provided in the description of this video. If you have any question, please put them in the comments and we will get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video and want more such content, please like, comment and subscribe and support us by enrolling in one of our PT preparation courses that you need for one attempt PT success. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you and goodbye for now.